Uh, can you tell us who you play and describe your characters? I play Val, uh, very uh, tough, sexy, uh, smart, powerful woman. So greedy. Dangerous. He's so greedy. And greedy. He's taking my character. <laughs> it's so greedy. Like he had a great one, his one, Beckett, fantastically dry, um, capable, generous, and a leader. And nice. Beckett and Val are a great duo combination. They are, yeah, they really are. Tell Madly. us how they, they interact really, really Madly are. in love. Yeah. Madly in love, yeah. Respecting each other, each other's hopes firmly in their, each other's back pocket, you know. I feel like there's a, they're an amazing yin and yang, really, because I think Beckett, as a leader, needs to be accessible to the group, needs to, you know, um, bestow you know, good feeling amongst his, his, you know, his group. And by, you know, so really Val is there to make sure that he isn't taken advantage of, that he, you know, can be this, you know, more relaxed person because she has got, she's taking care of business around him. You know, and it's so ironic because you, it's usually the sort of male, female, the other way around. The woman is the kind of, the one that is bestowing all the, you know, gentle nurturing. And mm -hmm. it's the guy who's there, but it's, I, it, I, don't th I think it actually works better this way so that you can actually be a leader that people want to look up to, you know, and, and, you know, be more generous and invite them in. She has to take care of business around the outside. I think it works better this way. I'm, yeah, matriarchy. There you go. There it is. There it is. It works. How does uh, Han interact with uh, Beckett and Val's story? He's like their kid. He really is. He's like they adopted this grown-up kid. Um, and uh, there is that sense. She's, she's kind of the tough love. And Beckett's more of the, you know, enjoying the, the puppy dog. Do you think? I like that. Yeah. I think that's fair. And Mama and Papa. So there was a, a memorable moment that uh, Alden and Chewie said with you, uh, Woody, about a, a snowball fight on top of a mountain. Oh, yeah. That was really fun. Yeah, we, we were in the uh, we were in up Italy. in uh, Italy in the what do you call it? Dolomites? The Dolomites, it was and, incredible. Uh, boy, there was a snowball fight. I didn't make it into the movie, unfortunately. Oh, you mean it was God. actually you filmed it? Yeah, yeah. No way. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna have it, it on the deleted phenomenal. scenes. Are you? Yes. Oh, really? I want to yes, see yes, that. So it's so cool. I I really thought that should have made it. There was some snow up there, man. There was some serious yeah, snowage up there. It was incredible. Serious snow One of the most beautiful places I've ever. And you know, we got to get. We went up to set with a helicopter, back and forth. Whenever we needed to go and do a pee, we'd have to go helicopter back down oh, to. Wow. It was, I mean, what a privilege, babe. Yeah. We were up on, literally on snow-capped mountains. Yeah. People only get up there by climbing for freaking days. And we just got helicoptered up. It was unbelievable. Helicoptered up, snowboarded down. Hey, no, I'm just not kidding. a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad day, thanks.